Okay next Okay Event of an experiment Okay ni sama jugalah Okay ni awak boleh cuba sendiri nanti Okay uh, Cuma kita tengok conclusion over here Event Okay is a set of possible outcome That fulfills certain condition For a sample space And is a subset for the sample space uh, Maksud dia event ni adalah Sesuatu yang berada di dalam Sample space Sample space ni kan Kemungkinan semua peristiwa berlaku So, of course lah Salah satu event yang kita nak Mestilah berada di dalam sample space Okay, sekarang kita tengok uh, The first example Okay One letter is randomly chosen From the word sempurna Okay List the possible outcome And write the sample space For the experiment Okay, state the number of element in the sample space. Okay, so first kita kena senarakan sample space dulu. Okay, S. Okay, so dalam kini bracket. Okay, so apa komponen yang ada di dalam sempurna? Okay, what is the component that inside the word sempurna? So we have S, E, M, P, U, R, N, A. Okay, so this is the element inside of the set sempurna, words sempurna. Okay, next, okay, we need to calculate how many numbers of the component in subset N S. N stands for number lah. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the N S is eight. Okay, boleh. Okay, next number two. Okay, a number is chosen randomly from the prime number that is between zero a twenty to twenty four. List the possible outcome and write the element in the sample space for this experiment. State the number of element in the sample space. Okay, so kita tulis dulu. Okay, what is the number? Or, uh, what is prime number? Okay, between twenty and twenty-four. Okay, so actually we have twenty-three, twenty-nine, thirty-one, and thirty-seven. Okay, so we need this is listing. Eh, uh, so we need to write it in the curly bracket. So. S is equals to twenty three, twenty nine, thirty one, thirty seven. Write it in the proper way. So the number of number of element in the sample space. So N S is equals to one, two, three, four. So the N S is four. Okay. Okay. Next, let's look at example three. Okay. A school cooperative sell brand P pencil. Okay, the eraser that are sold are red, green, blue, and yellow. Okay, Palin wants to buy a pencil and one eraser. With the help of three diagram, list the possible outcome and write the element in the sample space of the item bought by Palin. State the number of pairs. Okay, so over here we have P. Okay, pencil P brand, and then there are four colors of eraser. So Palin, okay, look over here. Palin maybe will buy, okay, P and R. Oops, sorry, P and R. Or she maybe buy. P and G green, P G, or P blue, or P Y. Uh, so there are four possibilities of what will Palin's buy. So maybe she will buy P R, P G, P B, or P Y. Okay. So next step two, okay, list of element in sample space. Okay. So in this sample space, okay, we have, okay, 
P R P G P B and P Y. Okay. So therefore, the number of element in the sample space is okay, right? Lah, one, two, three, four. So we have four. Okay. Senang kan? Okay. So next example four. Okay, one card has been chosen from the box containing card with number one to nine. Determine whether the event below may occur. Okay, so number bigger than five. Ada tak number bigger than five? Ada kan? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ada. Okay, so sebelum tu nak mudah kita senaraikan dulu sample space. Okay, the sample space. Okay, you can write it as S. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. okay. So, A. Number bigger than 5. So, 5 and bigger. Uh, so, this one is may occur. May occur. B. Two digits number. Uh, ada tak? Tak ada kan? So, may not occur. Sebab tak ada. Semua single digit. Okay. Last one, C. 3 eh. Sorry. 1, 2, 3. Okay. 3 factors of 15. Okay. 3 factors mean number that can dividing 15. Okay. So, uh, adalah uh, 1. Apa lagi? 5 kan? 3. Uh, so, may occur. Okay, next. Okay, example five. Okay, in a tele match, okay, the contestant must take one card that has letter K A S U T from a jar. List element in the sample space for the event if, okay, if the kata apa? A consonant are chosen. Okay. So first kita tulis dulu sample space yang kita ada is K A S U T ah kasut okay list the element in the sample space for the event okay for example I'm taking consonant are chosen is event A so saya boleh tulis sebagai okay A consonant consonant kita ada K S B, event B for example okay, Vowels are chosen So I only have A and U Macam tu cara nak tulis Okay ha, Maksud dia uh, Sample space ni semualah uh, Event ni adalah something yang Daripada sample space ini uh, Sebab tu dalam uh, Yang ni tadi uh, Dia katakan event is a Set of possible outcome that fulfills Certain condition for a sample space and is subset uh, okay sebahagian dalam dia mesti di dalam sample space uh, itu maksud dia boleh uh, kan contoh event A ada di dalam subset uh, sorry ada di dalam sample space KST uh, event B pun ada di dalam uh, sub, uh, apa sample space uh, AU boleh ok example 6 Okay, jar A has a card label I. Jar B has four cards label I, K, A and N. Okay. One card from jar A and one card from jar B are picked. Okay. List the element in the sample space. Okay. List the element in the sample space if one letter are same, B at least one consonant is picked. Okay. So, how to solve this problem? Okay, step one, draw the tree diagram. Okay, just now, jar A only have I kan? Hanya ada I, I tulis I. Okay, jar B pula ada empat I kan? I, K, A, N. Okay, so this side is outcome. Okay, tadi dia kata satu, cabut satu kad dari jar A, cabut satu kad dari jar B. Betul? Okay, so mungkin uh, 
awak akan cabut I I Okay Mungkin akan cabut I K Mungkin akan cabut I A Mungkin akan cabut I N So Ini adalah kita punya Possible outcome Okay Which is Possible outcome adalah Kita punya sample space Okay So tulislah I I I K I A O I N Tutup Okay So next dia kata tadi Event X Okay event X tadi apa The letters are same Okay ada tak yang letters same Ada I I So tulislah I I Okay boleh Okay event Y pula dia nak put at least one consonant is speak uh, Sekurang-kurangnya satu consonant uh, So, sekurang-kurangnya satu consonant This one, dua-dua vowels uh, This one, at least one consonant This one, dua-dua vowels uh, This one, at least one consonant So, itulah jawapan kita Okay So, I, K I, N Okay Boleh eh? Okay, next learning standard. Okay, construct probability models for an event and hence make conclusion between theoretical probability and experimental probability. Okay. Okay, cuba baca di sini. Okay, throwing a fair dice has six possible outcome. There are number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Assuming that each number has an equal chance of appearing in a throw, what is the chances of getting number four? Two, chances of getting an odd number. Nah, macam mana kita nak jawab? Nah, macam ni. Okay. The possible outcome from a throw of a fair dice, okay, number four only occurs once. Betul kan? Okay, so... The probability of getting number 4 is 1 over 6. Faham eh? Sebab satu ni hanya ada satu nombor 4. 6 ni pula dalam dice kita ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 uh, numbers. Sebab tu dia 6. Okay. Next, odd number occurs 3 times. Okay, which are okay, 2, 3 dan 5. Kan? Nombor ganjil. So, the probability of getting an odd number, okay, 2, 3, 5 1, And That's why this is 3 Out of how many numbers Yang ada atas dice 6 uh, Okay uh, So awak boleh tinggalkan jawapan 3 over 6 Or you can simplify To 1 over 2 Okay Boleh uh, So that's why over here Okay then Probability of event A Is represented by PA equals to NA Number of event A divided by number of sample space. Tadi saya dah cakap kan. Okay. Next learning standard. Okay. Determine the probability of an event. Okay. Probability of event A is determined by using. Uh, kita dah tahu ni lah. Okay. PA is equal to number of event A divided by number of sample space. Okay. So for example 7. An apple is picked from a box that contains 25 green apples and 35 red apples. Calculate the probability of getting a green apple. Okay, so, soalan nak kita cari probability of green apple. So, first we need to know, okay, what is the number of green apples? So, green apples, we have 25. Okay, number of red apples, we have 35. Okay, assume event A Sorry, assume A is an event of getting a green apple. So, the probability of getting a green apple. Okay, P, green apples equals to number of green apples divided by number of apples. Total number of apples. Ataupun kita boleh tulis sebagai P, A. Sebab A tadi adalah event of getting green apple kan? Okay, equals to N, A divided by N, S. So, N, A is number of apple, green apple. So, green apple is 25. D, 
divide by number total of apples. So total of apples kita ada apa pun number of apples. 25 plus 35 60 okay okay so uh, the probability is uh, you can either left your answer 25 over 60 or you can simplify as 5 over 12 okay next example 8 okay Pramjit gets RM5 pocket money every Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday Calculate the probability of him getting the amount of 5 ringgit in 4 weeks. Okay, uh, so assume A is an event of obtaining pocket money. So total of Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday in 4 weeks. Okay, so week pertama, uh, week 1 ada 3, week 2 ada 3, week 3, 3, week 4, 3. So total is 12. Uh, okay. Total days in four weeks. Uh, so, tujuh, 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 tujuh kan? Uh, so, 28 days. So, 28. 12 ni tadi, maksud dia hari Selasa, Rabu dan Kamis. Uh, untuk tiga, sorry, untuk empat minggu. Ada 12 kali. Okay? Total, num, total days in four weeks, ada 28 hari. Okay? So, probability of getting RM5 pocket money in four weeks is... Number of event A is 12 Divide by number of total hari yang ada 28 Okay, so we'll simplify Dapat 3 over 7 Baik eh? Nah, mudah sahaja Okay, next uh, Self practice I want you to try number 1 Number 2 And number 3 Okay Okay, so I think that's all for today. Okay, uh, so today we completed two subtopic. Okay, 12, uh, sorry, 13.1 and 13.2. Okay, so for next class, we're going to finish this chapter 13.3 and 13.4. Okay, so um, if you still have difficulties in the chapter, you can just rewind this uh, video and rewatch my explanation okay i know this is uh, a new chapter to you so you need some times to understand and grab the concept of probability okay so if you have any problems just comment down below or you can ask me in the telegram group okay so that's all for today thank you very much thank you for your attention okay see you next class bye